Hi, this is problem 19 from the AMC 10A. In rectangle ABCD, AB is 6, BC is 3, point E between B and C, and point F between E and C are such that these blanks are equal. Segments AE and AF intersect BD at P and Q, and the ratio of these three line segments can be written as R to S to T, where the greatest common factor is 1, so this is a reduced ratio. What is the sum R plus S plus T? So that's uh, kind of wordy. Uh, once you uh, sort out all that gibberish, uh, what you're left with is a rectangle. A, B, C, D, where we have a diagonal and a trisection of side B, C, which defines these intersection points Q and P. And we're trying to find the relative ratio of these three line segments and determine the reduced ratio R to S to T. So that's the essence of the problem. And I see some opportunities to use uh, Seve's theorem and the uh, Menelaus theorem. And if this were a simpler problem, I'd probably do that. But there are too many intersection points, and these ratios are a bit complicated. So when I see that, I'm inclined to try to invoke a coordinate geometry solution. So, so that's what I'm going to do here. And for a coordinate geometry solution, you could actually use these particular side lengths. But what you notice is that this is a ratio metric problem. So it really doesn't measure, it doesn't matter what the actual side lengths are. And in fact, it doesn't even matter what the ratio of the side lengths are. So given that, I'm going to try to use the simplest coordinate geometry description that I can come up with. And that's where we're basically going to look at a square of side length 1. And we're going to find this diagonal, which is pretty easily described as y is equal to x. I'm going to trisect this side to find two lines. The first line has a slope of minus a third, so this equation is y equal minus one third x plus one. And the second line has a slope of minus two-thirds plus one. And we're going to use these uh, equations to basically solve for these two intersection points. And it's actually pretty simple. We just take y is equal to x, and we substitute it into these two equations. So in this second equation down here, y is equal to x. That means x is equal to thirds plus one. Bring it over to the other side. 5 thirds x is equal to 1, and x is equal to 3 fifths. So it looks like uh, that's this first intersection point is 3 fifths. And we can do the same thing with this other equation. We have the other equation is y is equal to minus a third x plus 1. Substitute y is equal to x. Bring it over. Great, so this uh, second intersection point is 3 fourths. And from that, we can basically calculate now the ratio of these three segments. So this uh, first segment is uh, 3 fifths. This uh, second segment is 3 fourths minus 3 fifths. And this third segment is one quarter. Now I think they actually want you to calculate the uh, opposite uh, arrangement of ratios, but that still works for our purposes. So let's just continue with this. Uh, so we have uh, three fifths, three fourths minus three fifths. Let's work that out. So that's equal to 15 minus 12. So that's three over 20. One quarter is what is is. And let's see. So we can just multiply all of these by 20 to arrive at uh, 20 times 5. So that's 12 to 3 
to 5. And this looks like it's in reduced ratio form. So that's, in fact, the final ratio. And what are we looking for? What is the sum? R plus S plus T. So that's 8 plus 12. So that's 20. Choice E. Anyway, a pretty simple problem with coordinate geometry. I think it's a little bit tougher with uh, Seva or Menelos, but uh, go ahead and give that a try. Thanks, and see you later. Bye-bye.